Good evening, beautiful people. I'm just gonna start calling these daily messages because half the time I end up at the afternoon or the evening um, because in the mornings get kind of backed up with some stuff that I gotta, you know, pretty much get done for the day. So, yeah, good evening. Um, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you had a great Monday. And yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and give a little recap of my little four by four by 48 challenge that I completed this past weekend. And pretty much talk about how everything went and some of the lessons that I learned uh, by doing it. So yeah, let's hop into it. Okie dokie. So pretty much this four by four by 48 challenge was just to explain it and frame it a little bit. So the idea of it is to run four miles every four hours over the course of the span of 48 hours. So essentially you're running 48 miles over 48 hours, two days, two marathons in two days. And yeah, um, I had been the heaviest that I've ever been pretty much in my life. So my goal from doing 75 hard was to put on muscle. So pretty much that was today's day 57. So that was days since six into 57, 54, 55 into 56 on Sunday. So pretty much 12 different legs of four miles. Um, so my idea was to do it at a different location for each leg, which was super helpful and super cool to kind of see different places in LA. So the different places that I did it at were the following. So Santa Monica, leg one, Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Venice Beach. Six was Playa del Rey. Seven was Manhattan Beach. Eight was Miracle Mile area, uh, Wilshire. Nine was at, was through Mid City. And then 10 was at Ventura. 11 was Hermosa Beach. And 12 was at Costa Mesa. So 10, 11, 12, Ventura, Hermosa Beach, and Costa Mesa were all group runs with David Goggins that he was running out with people. So pretty much I knew all I had to do was get to those and then I would pretty much be set, but I had to run pretty much 36 miles to get to this point, which was kind of hard part. So prior to starting this, I, as I said, was pretty much the heaviest I've been in my entire life just from bulking up to gain the muscle through 75 hard. And I was at 2028 on the Friday morning before starting this. And then pretty much over the course of this lost like five and a half pounds, got down to 197.4 um, on Sunday morning. So yeah, if you only lose five pounds, just run two marathons within two days <laughs> and not really change your macros really. Um, um, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool experience overall. It was something that I was super last minute, um, but it was something that I wanted to challenge myself with. And I've been super inspired by David Goggins' story and I'm reading his book. I'm halfway through his book right now. I got him to sign my book, which was so cool. And it was so inspiring to not only meet him, but meet all of the other participants that were doing this challenge with me whenever I went to these locations. Even in like 10 of Ventura, I, I got literally chills as I was running because I was able to run that whole thing up, up, up until that point. I was kind of walking some portions because my left knee was kind of hurting me. My right calf was hurting me. Um, but I felt like I was just getting pulled by the energy of the people that were there. And yeah, it was just so cool just waiting in line to kind of meet meet him and talking with a lot of people that were doing the challenges and met some people that were doing 75 hard as well. So it's just so cool to see this community of people that are you know pushing themselves past their limitations that they think you know, are in their head, what they're capable of. And um, that's kind of really what I honestly wanted to speak to a little bit about this message was kind of what I found out about myself and what I am capable of. And so the book that I'm currently reading of David Goggins, it's called Can't Hurt Me, um, just to clarify that piece from a few clips ago. And he talks about this idea in it of, I think one of the main ones is this 40% rule. And so pretty much he says that he thinks, you know, most people are living at, which I think is true. He, he says that most people are living at 40% of what they're capable of. And pretty much when you hit that 40%, your kind of mind tells you to quit and give up and, and stop what you're doing um, to protect you, right? And most people do, most people quit whenever their, their mind says to stop. And pretty much he's all about pushing past your, your, your mental pain threshold and you're one that starts to 
to say stop, that's typically, you typically still have another 60% to go um, or can go. And you're, you pretty much have, you pretty much only halfway and you pretty much do almost, do almost double of what you have done up until that point. And so there's also, he also mentions this idea of, that I, I, I was, I kind of thought about when I was running with the groups was that you know everyone whenever you're kind of running these races and I think running and physical training is is such a good tangible way to kind of experience this or see this um, really more than anything else because that's kind of I think whenever you you suffer in a way like physically suffer like your body is in pain is whenever you're doing this PT whenever you're doing this training whenever you're doing this running um, to see kind of what your threshold is and. So I kind of thought about this. He says this thing in his book is like, everyone's got their own kind of pain, battle and struggle and suffering that's going on in their head whenever they're doing any kind of PT or training or, you know, whatever they're going about their, their lives with. And kind of, I kind of thought about this and um, I kind of thought about it when I would see these people running, it's like, everyone's got their own, <laughs> they're all in their own head whenever they're doing these legs. And even just after talking, um, you know, some, some of the people afterwards and, and waiting in line, it's such a mutual respect and this bond, right, that you have with these people that are part of this community and it's just so moving, right? It's like this healthy community, like you're getting better, like you're pushing yourself, you are living a healthier lifestyle, you're showing other people that you are wanting, to, not only wanting to get better, but doing, doing what you say you're going to do. And this isn't something that you just wake up and just say, Oh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this because I want to um, have fun today. Like, it's something that you're you're doing to to then kind of like David Goggins says, callous your mind, right? Uh, in his book, um, but you do it to to get better and and be able to face like actually really hard, face actually really hard things in life, and really hard thing in life is may not be. Like physically, maybe, okay, doing this challenge or running a marathon or doing an ultra race. Um, but to me, really hard things are when a very close family member to you dies unexpectedly, whenever a friend um, injures themselves or, you know, someone becomes sick or unhealthy. That's, that's like shit is hard. And like what you actually put, can put yourself like physically through is like pales in comparison to something like that because that really affects you like in your head. And when you can maybe do things like physically that you can put yourself through to kind of go through a, it's, I think it's all kind of a similar struggle, a th similar pain in a way. Um, so when you can kind of overcome these hardships, it makes it, when you can overcome something that's physically very, very challenging and painful, such as running a very long distance, putting yourself through any kind of PT or any kind of weight training or whatnot, um, day after day, week after week, over a lifetime, it's, you're able to overcome actually harder challenges and realize that, that, that come just because of life, like the process of life, like people, people live and, and die, like that is life. And people become sick and, and hurt themselves and um, leave you and um, friends come and go and, and your relationships come and go and, um, but then you, you, you kind of overcome them and you, you meet new people and um, you you make up with with friends and then family members get better or people that are that were once sick get better and you you overcome these these hurdles right or these challenges that are that are, that come just from life and I think by doing physically difficult things it makes it easier I think you become harder or stronger so then you can actually deal with these very actually difficult things that come because of life and that is life so yeah i just wanted to to speak on uh, you know some of the things that i learned that i think what you think that you can do sometimes you don't even know that you can do you just say oh i can't run i can't run 48 miles in 48 hours that sounds crazy that sounds insane like i'm going to literally break myself and that was something that i was like you know what we'll break this down we'll do this each one leg at a time and I discovered that this was something that I was I was actually capable of, and and now it, it it allows me and gives me this momentum to then to say, oh, I did this. Like, what what am I capable of? Like, what more can I actually accomplish that um, my mind?
mind is limiting myself to, to do it? What can I physically accomplish that my mind is limiting myself right now? And that's kind of what I'm chasing. I think that's what we're all chasing. And another thing that, that David says in his book is about becoming civilized and he never wants to, we should never allow ourselves to become civilized is what he says and to stop chasing after that next physical challenge, that next um, that next hurdle or challenge that could make us better. And that's kind of, you know, I'm in this, I'm in this headspace and zone of, of really trying to discover that, really trying to actualize my potential. And, and I think that's what we all should do. Um, we should try and do each and every day, each and every year of our life, um, whenever we can kind of maybe take a step back and really realize where things are at, what we are capable of, and know that it is so much more than, than we do really know. And we just have to put ourselves out there and see, uh, see if we can find it. So that is all I got for this little four by four by 48 challenge recap message. Um, yeah, I just discovered that you can do a lot more. We can all do a lot more than, than we really know. And, and we are capable of so much more than we, we really do know. It's just about putting ourselves out there, stepping out of our comfort zone and trying new things that are seemingly objectively very difficult, but you are more than capable of completing it than you really do know. So. Yeah, that's all I got. Have a great Monday night and I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.